Hi there, it's your boy again, back with another video. And today's topic is about how to ride safely in the Philippines. So, so to ride safe in the Philippines, you need to first check yourself. Tingnan mo kung gising na gising ka. Kung nakainom ka naman, huwag mo na itutuloy. Magiging disastrous lang yun. And then, tingnan mo yung health mo. Kung may sakit ka, huwag ka na rin magra-ride. Mas lalo lang lalala yung sakit mo. And then, finally, uh, tingnan nyo kung kompleto yung mga papeles nyo. And then, let's move to number 2. And second is to gear up properly. Wear your helmet, padded jackets, pair of gloves, knee protectors, or riding pants, and riding shoes. Kapag na, kapag kompleto ka sa mga gears, riding gears, mas safe ka sa kalsada, and at the same time, mas comfortable, and iwas huli. Now na nakagear up na tayo, let's go to number 3. Let's go outside. Okay, number three. It's to check your bike. First, check new tires if it's okay. Check the lights. Check for oil leakage. And etc. All right. Now that you check your bike. It's time to head out on the road now. Oh, yeah. It's a great day to ride. It's sunny. 11 a.m. in the morning. And let's go home for the Holy Week. Testing my tires if it is late. All right. Now that we're on the road, it's time to say my fourth advice. Fourth tip. It's still... Follow the traffic rule. Yeah, pa pagsunod naman ng traffic, madali lang naman. Kasama yan sa exam ng LTO, if you really did the exam, mostly common sense. Alright, for example, ito, this is a three-lane highway, and I am moving around, let's say, 40. We stay here, at the uh, outermost part of the highway tapos kung mas mabilis ka ng konti around 60 or 70 go in the middle lane and finally sa mga ganitong klaseng highway if you're going too fast 100 80 to 100 ganon go here at the fast lane or the overtaking lane and ako yung magde-decrease ng speed so indicate so, ganun lang. Madali lang naman pagsunod sa traffic. Mostly, may mga road markings naman. Madaling sundan. Tapos, sa pag stoplight, green means go, yellow means uh, get ready, tapos red means stop. At isa pa, dapat marunong kayo magbasa ng mga road sign. Wari. Speed limit. Or curb ahead. Pedestrian lane. Uh, mga stops like that and number five sa aking mga tips is to ride defensively so pag nagra-ride ka lagi mong isipin na uh, invisible ka o uh, riding invisibly ang ibig sabihin nun ay eh, nagra-ride ka na hindi ka nila nakikita most common na nagiging aksidente kasi sa motor yung ganon hindi ka nila nakikita so to counter that, first, magsuot ka ng light color na uh, gears, mostly yellow green is pang stand out yung kulay. Pag overtake ka, uh, ipaalam mo sa harap mo na mauuna ka, ganun, businahan mo siya. Huwag kang pupwesto sa mga uh, spots na hindi ka niya nakikita. Mostly, for example, itong fortuner sa harap. 
Pag nandito ako sa gitna niya Hindi niya ako nakikita Kung tumingin siya sa kanyang rear view mirror Makikita Saka lang niya ako makikita So mas magandang spot mo is Here Somewhere sa gitna Sa tapat ng side mirror niya Para nakikita ka niya Nahan na natin Libre Pag overtake ka naman Make sure na libre At sundan niyo yung mga markings sa kalsada Ayan. Solid yellow means No overtaking So isa pa uh, Don't go beyond your limit Kasama yun sa riding defensively Alamin mo lagi ang limit mo As a rider At ang limit ng motor mong gamit Don't go beyond your comfort zone At isa pa Keep cool headed Maging mapagparaya At isa pa Maging aware ka sa buong paligid mo That's why Hindi ko recommend ang mga motor na walang side mirror Lalo na dito sa Pilipinas Bigla na lang misusulpot sa likod mo Hindi mo alam Meron akong rule na sinusunod sa pagmamaneho ng motor Defensively Kung kaya mo patakbuhin ng mabilis Dapat Kaya mo rin paintuin ng mabilis Yun lang Saka dapat meron kang sense of speed Pagka naramdaman mo ang alanganin Huwag mo itutuloy Kahit konting Titik lang ng alanganin Huwag God, I hate this road So, isa pang tip sa riding defensively uh, Always Be prepared And anticipate Mostly mga tricycle Bigla na lang dumili ko yan So, anticipate mo na ang kanilang gagawin Be prepared when approaching them Saka make sure na napapansin ka rin nila Huwag ka may iyang gamitin yung busina At isa pang tip Keep your distance At least 3 seconds before impact Or 3 car length So yun na yung 5 tips ko On how to ride safe here in the Philippines So uh, ang topics na na-cover ko is uh, Check yourself Wear proper gear Check your bike Follow traffic rules And ride defensively So that's it I hope you enjoyed this video This view though So that's it for me And stay safe Ride safe Until next time Your boy out Bye